Welcome to the channel. This is Chris from Offroad Nation 606. So today I want to make a little video explaining what's next for the Jeep. So the last big thing we done was we installed the 5.7 Hemi. So I've still got a lot of things I want to do to the Jeep. I've been looking around the last few months and I've kind of thought about painting the Jeep with Raptor liner. But I really like the blue that's on this Jeep. It's gunmetal pearl. And I really like to leave it that color. So I think I'm going to go with the tenable Raptor liner. And I'm going to try to mix it with this same paint code, the Gunmetal Pearl. I think that will look pretty good. Raptor liner, they offer it in several different colors. But I'd really like to have it the same color blue as it is. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of body work and getting the Jeep ready to be painted with the Raptor liner. I think that'll hold up a lot better. Before I just done the regular bed liner spray cans from Walmart, just the regular Rust-Oleum. It does all right, but it, it does chip away after a while. So I want to do something that's gonna hold up better. As you can see, all the tree limbs, it just scratches the clear coat up pretty bad. I still want to do the bottom black and have the top the blue and I'm gonna get some of the quarter panel armor with the rub rails and I'm gonna install that on the back section I've actually already picked some up from affordable off-road so I think those are gonna look pretty good on there I always did like the look of the quarter panel armor that also helped protect if you are against the rocks, any kind of tree limbs hanging over, that will help protect your quarter panel. So I want to get that on there, and I'm wanting to take this factory bumper off, and I actually bought another DIY bumper, just like how the front bumper was. And I'm thinking about modifying it a little bit and putting some kind of tire carrier on the back of it. May do that or something where I can put the roto packs on there. So I'm going to start taking all these trim pieces off and getting all the emblems off. And this uh, front fender, it's uh, denting pretty bad. Probably fixable, but it's not even lining up with the header panel anymore. So I think I'm just going to change the whole fender out. You can get these fenders pretty cheap. And there's a couple spots I need to try to fix on the header panel. Now these pieces are fiberglass, so I'm going to try to fix that best I can. And if not, I'll just pick up another header panel. Then after I get all the Raptor liner finished, I'm really wanting to put some kind of row cage on it. And I've been looking at different kits, and uh, I don't really want to take up a lot of room inside. So I'm thinking about getting the hybrid cage. And it's the one that comes down and goes down into the fender. And I'll probably tie it into the rock sliders. But basically, we'll have to remove this factory roof rack. And that whole hybrid cage will be on top. And there are just a couple bars that come down into the cab. And that leaves you a lot more room inside still. So I took my winch off the front bumper for right now because it just sit too close to the grill. So I'm gonna modify the bumper a little bit. I'm gonna notch that out just a little bit more. That way the winch can be a little bit more forward. That'll give a more room for the grill back of the wires they were just hitting right against the grill i didn't really like that then after we do that i may put some lights on the front bumper also probably some led cubes and then i'm going to spray it with the raptor liner also so it may be hard to tell in the video 
but the front sits just a little bit lower than the back it's not really too bad but I'm thinking about putting at least a one inch spacer up front just kind of leveled out more so I picked up a set of spacers these are actually adjustable and it's got the bump stop on it so I'm gonna install these and they'll have adjustment in case I ever needed to raise it up anymore I'm also going to take the rest of the carpet out and I'm probably going to raptor line all the floor also that'll make it a lot easier to clean up so that's just a couple things that I plan on doing in the next few months I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of update and I have been kind of looking at tube doors I've been debating whether to do half doors or tube doors looked at several different things I think I want to do the tube doors I kind of think they look a little bit better so just let me know if you uh, know any good brands on tube doors I've looked at several different ones uh, a lot of them is pretty expensive so I've kind of thought about even maybe building my own but I'm not really sure I'm gonna do with that that'll probably be after I do the Raptor liner but guys that's gonna do it for this video I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of update to let you know what's next for the jeep so i hope you like the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more